Hello, and welcome back to the fourth section of Articulate Storyline Training Series. In the last video, we have seen how to insert and edit media files from the timeline. In this video, we will see the states and how to use them. States are very similar to layers in many areas. A layer allows us to replace all the objects on the base layer with any other objects placed inside it. And it has their own timeline and triggers section in order to add further functionality within the layer. Whereas the state allow us to make changes to the appearance of specific objects or replace it with any other object. Unlike layers, states do not have their own timeline or triggers panel. We cannot display more than one state of an object at a time. Yet, states are very effective in creating captivating user experiences in an e-learning course. All the text, pictures, shapes, and interactive objects like buttons in Storyline can have states. States can be accessed from the Story view. For instance, let me add a button here. So, as you can see, buttons come with pre-built states for mouse over and click. We can create cool interactive slides with combination of states and triggers. We will see how to add our own states and how to take advantage of the default states in the next video.